death rate from drug overdoses have actually surpassed car accidents in this state. Somewhere 1,500 to 1,700 people are dying every year. Well, usually you'll see something around, maybe a, a syringe or a spoon that shows that they've been using. Mostly they're going to look pasty and white and they're not going to be breathing. They're going to look like they fainted and they're out and they're not responsive. Oh my God! Jessica! Jessica! Robin, it looks like she overdosed! There's like an empty needle of heroin! Jessica, she's not breathing! Robin, call 911! Unless you breathe, the brain cells start dying pretty quickly. So it's really important to get patients breathing again, either by giving them some breaths, some rescue breaths, or getting the overdose kit going. Robin, call 911, get the kit! And the importance of calling 911 is that the medicine can wear off, so you really need to get somebody help immediately. The yes, yes, my friend's not breathing, she's not breathing. Well, the overdose kit is specifically for opiates. It uses a medication called naloxone that pushes the opiates off the receptors in the body and uh, allows them to start breathing again. A needle, there's a spoon, there's, there's, there's a lighter, I don't, she's not moving, she's not breathing. It's a, a syringe that holds the naloxone medicine and then you put a little nasal adapter on it and basically half of the medicine goes up one nostril and half goes up the other nostril. Come on, Jessica, come on. Come on, start breathing. So every kid has two full doses of the naloxone. If somebody isn't really coming around in two or three minutes to give the second dose. Come on, start breathing. We want to put them in a safe position, um, kind of rolling them over and getting them on their sides. So if there's any vomit or things like that, that they won't choke on that. Come on, Jessica, start breathing. Usually within a minute or so, people will start to open their eyes and you'll see that they're making breathing movements on their own. You awake? Is she breathing? Is yeah, she breathing? she's breathing. She's when people use the kit, people come back to life. I see these overdose kits much like immunizations that uh, we want to get as many out there in the community. It's really a life-saving opportunity. I think people, families are very happy to have that around when they're afraid that their child or young adult might overdose. And we know that people are going to relapse, but um, people do get better as long as we keep fighting for them. And, uh, Many of our patients go on to live productive, very happy lives um, because of our intervention. Oh yeah, she's got a she's got a really strong pulse. You guys did a good job.